Dr. Fizz, theoretical physics, we're deriving the Fourier transform from Fourier series over a few videos. Now here's what we have so far from our previous video, the Fourier series in terms of exponentials and the coefficients here given by this integral. We want to expand the interval in this section from 2 pi to 2L. So instead of going from minus pi to plus pi, we'll go from minus L to plus L. Our interval will be symmetric about the x equals zero axis and I'm going to save x for the final variable so let's call all these x's z. So we have z, we have a z, and 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 define a new variable x so that when z roams from minus pi to plus pi, x goes from minus l to plus l. I set up a ratio here, z divided by x is equal to pi divided by L, and then I solve for Z. Z is pi over L times X, and I'm going to check to see that this indeed works. Let's take the extreme, X equals L. The L's cancel, and it gets Z equal to pi. So that looks good, and then DZ is pi over L DX, and now we substitute here in two places for the first equation, Z as the argument, and Z in the exponent. So we come down here, Z in the argument, and z in the exponent, so we see z pi over lx, pi over lx, and up here pi over lx. For the uh, equation with the c sub n, I have g of z, so that will become g of pi over lx, and here I have z in the exponent, so that's pi over lx there, and dz is equal to pi over l d x. My limits of integration now switch because I have an integral with respect to the x variable and the x variable goes from minus l to plus l. Notice that this pi will cancel this pi. The l will s slide over and it's, this is neat. Instead of having 1 over 2 pi, I have 1 over 2 l. See 2 pi was my original interval and I have 2 l instead. Let's uh, come down here and call this function little f of x and this is little f of x and we are finished. This is our result. We have expanded the interval so that our interval is 2L symmetrically situated about x equals 0 so we go from minus L to plus L. In our next video we'll convert this summation to an integral on our way to deriving the Fourier transform.